please be advised of the disclaimers. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Sai with Pinnacle Trading here. So let's jump into the stock market. Is it going to finally correct? You know, we see stock market finally going down here a little bit and we see the red candle right here pop up. So what does that mean right now? So let's jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I do a lot of the uh, stock trading, uh, stock market trading, investing, and also some uh, financial videos. So hit that bell button next to the subscribe as well to stay updated on my newest videos. So we see a red candle right here. So what does that mean? Our market's finally going to correct because they've been just running up and up and you know, we haven't seen a pullback in a long time. So when we look at the yearly chart, which we're looking at right now, we can see the 50 SMA. We see the red candle finally break a little break down a little bit um, but are we going to see more of a drop on this one uh, we look at the 400 big support as a whole dollar support level because that's kind of like a mental psychology level that people look at as a whole dollar you know we see it in business sales the discounts all the time but when we look at the specifics which i'll go into just a second i want to talk about the inflation and the bonds um, you can look at cnbc if you hit the bonds button you can see that um percentage right there that's the 10 year yield because that's not too far away like the 30 year it's not too close like the five or one year you know it's about in that mid midterm range of 10 years which a lot of things can change but it's not so far away that it's kind of impossible to predict so i look at the 10 year mainly we see it at 1.4 percent well when you go to this website gurufocus.com all you have to do is go google yield curve scroll down and click on guru focus i like this website because it lays out the charts very simply this the treasury yields for the 10 year on the one year spread uh, you can see every time in the gray highlight that's when we had this recession happen so when we see the 2008 early 2000s early 1990s 1980s we had about two huge corrections and crashes in the 1970s uh that's been a big predictor of a market recession or stock market recession overall stock market crash call it whatever um but we're right now we saw 1.6 1.7 area earlier this year and then just started coming down because markets you know they sold off a little bit you know back in may but they just bounced back up and just kept going up so what happened to the bonds um uh, they came back down but i see support right now at the 1.4 area can we see a bounce it's definitely possible if stock markets go keep going down so when we look at this one we want to see over two percent if we don't see the two percent there's no reason to start worrying you know you want to maybe tread lightly you know just be a little bit careful but i'm not a you know, advisor in any way so this is just my analysis and my suggestions so look at the two percent that's when we start to be very, very careful. But anywhere below, you know, we can just tread lightly, not take it too, um, too, uh, too carefully. So right now, markets are they're fine. Uh, we just want to see more of a sell-off uh, if we want to add more, or maybe even enter the market if you're already in cash. So right now let's take a look at the Fibonacci chart because that gives us a key price levels to look at so like I talked about whole number support at the 400 is going to be the big one if it doesn't break 400 because that's previous support that's where it bounced uh, about 405 mid 400s if it doesn't break 400 I'm not going to worry why because if something doesn't break the support which is kind of like a base kind of like a foundation level we have different levels of it so this is like the base uh, main floor foundation at 400 if it doesn't break that i'm not going to look for markets to collapse down uh next key price point is going to be at 377 so mid 375s 375 level if it doesn't break that then i'm not going to be too worried so that's how I like to play the market. Key price levels, support resistance, no horizontal lines, uh, or sorry, no like uh, diagonal lines or anything, only horizontal lines that a lot of people don't look at. They can draw their own thing and kind of say, hey, this is what I see. I only look at horizontal lines like Fibonacci, uh, support levels, uh, because they make sense to me. So look for 400 and 375 as the next support levels. If they don't break, I, would, I wouldn't even bother worrying, but it's a good time to kind of scale out of positions. It doesn't mean go ahead, sell everything. It's a good idea to scale out and uh, just be careful, tread lightly in the markets, You know, be aware of what's going on in the market, in the economy, news, 
just uh, social media everywhere. Just be aware. Um, it's always good to catch up on things and be on top of things. So look for the support level of 400. But right now, I'm also looking at TLT, the bonds ETF. This is a great one that I called out in the chat room, which by the way, is completely free to join. I called it out in the long term investing ideas, because this one pays dividends, and it does go up overall. You know, it's not anything crazy like tech or something like that. But this is a great one to you know, kind of hedge against inflation rather than shorting the markets and you still get dividends and it's a long-term growth. So I learned that back a few months ago, about a month ago in the 137. Right now it's at 145, it's breaking out. So just look for that to continue to break out as markets break down. So if you're new to the channel and you want to join the chat room, it's completely free to join. Head over to pinnacletrading.us. And then you can scroll down on the main page, click the join now for free button to join the chat room, which is where we alert all these trade ideas, general chat and everything like that. And if you want to grab the course, this is where I offered you the education that I put together and it's always updated. I'm going to put up no new videos on this one soon. We have stock market education, trading and investing and some of my secrets to you. So this is to cut your learning curve and also give you all the tools you need to become a confident stock market uh, trader and investor because education, in my opinion, is very important. So hope this video helped you out. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button to show your support and the bell button. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a great weekend.